So you just got that shiny new Steam OS 3.4 update and you go to power it on and we got problems. Either it's gonna boot right into Windows or in my case, the way it broke is I'm getting this error message that there's no boot options. If I press okay on that, it takes me to the advanced boot options where I can work around this or for those of you booting directly into Windows, boot up and hold the volume down key and that takes you into the boot menu. Once we get to the boot menu, looking at the options that we have available, go down to the bottom left option where it says boot from a file. Now, once you've made it this far, you're gonna have to kind of take a look around on your own, go through the different partitions you have. Look in the EFI and either under boot to find like your Windows and SteamOS boot directories or under refind, you can find the refined EFI file and boot right into the refined dual boot menu that you're familiar to seeing before everything broke. From there, you can boot into SteamOS or Windows per normal and you won't have any issues. So that's the good thing is you're not broken, you're just inconvenienced. Your operating systems are still there, your games, your settings, everything is still there and working perfectly fine. This is just a temporary inconvenience. And also the good news, it's actually really easy to fix. If you followed my dual boot tutorial, you already have the install files for refines on your Steam Deck. You can simply boot into the Steam Deck desktop mode and reinstall it and you're fixed. It'll take you less than a minute. However, we'll walk through a little bit more than that just for those who might have followed a different tutorial or if you've deleted the install files or something along those lines. So again, the goal here is let's get into our boot menu. Let's find one of our ways to boot into SteamOS. I'll go ahead and show you the other way to boot directly into SteamOS real quick. And that's by choosing the steamcl.efi file instead of the refined boot file that I used before. That'll take us directly into the Steam OS operating system. And so once we get booted into Steam OS, we'll hit the uh, Steam button and then we'll go down to power and then we'll say switch to desktop mode. So once you're in desktop mode, I think the easiest thing to do is open up Firefox or whatever browser you have installed and then search for uh, refined Steam Deck on Google and go to the GitHub link, which probably should be the top result. This will take you to this particular GitHub page and we can scroll down until we find the installation instructions. This is just to give us a safety net because you have all the commands there right in front of you on your device rather than looking at them from your phone or another computer. And the best part is it lets us just copy and paste them. So let's open up the console and we just have to copy and paste these commands. Now, this is the full installation for Refine from scratch. And since we've already done this before in the dual boot tutorial, if we attempt to clone, which is just downloading the repository, it's gonna give us an error that it's already there. If there's a new version of this that you wanna install, you can just go either change the directory that you're downloading it to and download it to a new place, or go delete the previous contents that are already there and it'll download the new ones. Right now, there's not a new version I'm worried about, so I'm not gonna worry about doing that. We'll go ahead and move on to our next command, which is just changing our directory to where that script lives so we can install it. And now the third command, chmod, this is allowing us to execute that script. We're gonna skip over it right now because again, we're using the exact same files as from the tutorial, so we've already run that command and we can already execute it. So we just have to run the install command. Now executing this takes what would be considered in Windows terms, administrator permissions. In this case, it's super user permissions. You should have a password set for that already if you've followed the previous guides. So type in your super user password and it will continue to install. It's a fairly quick process and it'll let you know when it's completed. So with Refind installed yet again, it will repair everything that the Steam Deck update broke and we're right back to where we started with no issues. So we'll just shut down or restart and I'll show you that things are back to normal. So no longer do I have to hold volume down or go into the boot menu, just powering on the Steam Deck will bring us right into the Refind dual boot menu. And I've tested off camera both Windows and SteamOS. They're both working perfectly fine. 
But for now, we'll jump into the Steam OS just to show you that everything's working like it was before. So I took some time to research this issue before I posted the solution because I tested various solutions because there's other ways to fix this, including just manually going in there and fixing your boot entries. But this is the solution I decided was the easiest and thus the one to share with everybody. So I hope this guide helps out anyone that just got stuck in this. And now for any future updates, don't have to be worried about it. Hopefully Steam won't make it break anything with the next update, but if it does, it's only a few minutes of your time to get it fixed. So once again, this is Patrick from Vicious Computers, and I'll see you next time.